Hi, everyone. Welcome to Web Day, and welcome to our panel session on Core Web Vitals. I'm Vivek, a product manager on the Chrome team. And in this session, we're going to talk about how Core Web Vitals have made a difference across three very different businesses. More than ever before, businesses rely on the web to serve their customers and grow. And we know from our work at Google how speed and usability can create a great user experience. We've talked to hundreds of web businesses around the world, serving many millions of users. And we found a few common themes, which we distilled into the Core Web Vitals metrics, a set of metrics that capture the most important parts of your user's experience, ensuring pages load fast, are responsive, and stable. More importantly, Core Web Vitals allows us to measure progress and share ideas to improve the web as a community using a common language. We use Core Web Vitals extensively within Google and with many of our largest partners to serve our users better and grow their businesses. And we'd like to share their experiences with you today. I'm thrilled to be joined by Ruben Sherwin from Wix, one of the largest global CMS platforms, Fabian Poletti from C-Discount, a leader in e-commerce from France, and Giuseppe Cavado from GED, one of the largest publishers in Italy. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. And let's start with you, Ruben. One area you and I have talked about has been the importance of building a performance culture within an organization. Can you tell us about that and about your experience with Core Web Vitals at Wix? So thank you, Vivek. Uh, that's a great question. So as mentioned, I'm Reuven Sherwin from the office of the CTO at Wix. And a little bit of context uh, about Wix. We're about enabling anyone to create their dream online presence with no compromises whatsoever on functionality or design. Our platform is designed so that it will do the heavy lifting so our users can focus on managing their business and online presence. Personally, I'm a part of the uh, Wix executive team with my number one focus being making the sites built on the Wix platform load faster. So the performance challenge for us is not about optimizing one single site with one given design. It's about building a, an infrastructure that enables our users to build any site they can imagine and we will verify that our users get the best possible performance for that given design. Now, as we all know, performance is uh, highly impacted by design and functionality choices the site owner makes. Now, with virtually no limit on design and functionality, there's no one single performance magic number we can aim for. The challenge is that once our user makes their choices, we need to deliver for them the best possible performance for their combination, their choice of UI design and functionality. So the way we tackle this is we started with a clear performance vision. We define this as for any given site design, offer the loading experience, which is comparable to the best possible implementation of the same design. So it's as if you have certain design and functionality in mind. If you take the best possible implementation at Wix, the performance should be comparable to as if you recruited the best development team in the world to develop this specific site for you. And once we had this vision in place, we realized that a key critical the component for it is to have the performance culture in place. We wanted everyone on the team from software engineers to executives to be on the same focus including our data teams, our product managers, our customer satisfaction, etc. We set up a performance core team that helped us disseminate and create partition, uh, partnerships across all product teams, since it's critical to have everyone on the team engaged and involved, because there's no limit to the permutations of specific sites that our users can build. We realized that a key part, and this connects strongly to Core Web Vitals, is having performance data transparency. We wanted it to be part of everyone's DNA to engage the, the members and to help them gauge the actual changes, progress, both in field and lab data. We've been collecting, um, we're strongly a data-driven company in many things, and we collect RUM, real user measurements and field data, which is anonymized from real user sessions. Uh, and it effectively lets us know how our sites perform in different geographies, different de devices, different networks, totally different infrastructures, what our actual user base feels on a regular basis. 
we complement that with synthetic and lab data that helps us evaluate what our user base can potentially feel under different situations. So with Google announcing a Core Web Vitals um, um, last year, we welcomed it as another important indicator in our performance data to gain and offer additional transparency uh, to field data of real user sessions. And all of this effort gladly showed us uh, amazing results in the past year. But beyond just performance vision and performance culture, there's a critical realization that our team had, and I think all teams should have, and that is performance is a journey. It's not a one-time effort. You must realize that you need to make the commitment, take some leap of faith and great investment, but then one step at a time, you must continue improving, you must stay vigilant and, and um, continue chasing the performance goal. And then you need to do it again and again and again. So as I said, we saw an amazing year over year improvement and that was uh, reflected in a 3x improvement in our all green or past Core Web Vitals and a huge 41% improvement in loading time across all geographies for all users. And the journey uh, is not done yet. I mean, we're continuing on a regular basis uh, on improving this and um, improving our, all of our numbers across all of our, as I said, geographies and users. So the recap or takeaway I'd say is great performance is always a challenge, but it's a challenge that can be met. It can be done, but you are never done. You have to set a vision, you have to have a focus, and you have to be ready for the journey. And uh, the rest will follow. So uh, let me close by saying thank you for letting us share our performance journey with you. Stay tuned. There is more to come. Thanks, Ruben. Those are some fantastic results. And I'd love to dig more into the Wix experience and the question period at the end. Fabian, I want to go to you next. Uh, the e-commerce space is incredibly competitive, but it's also very fast moving. You had a really great model for thinking about making a rapidly changing site also perform well. Can you share a bit about that and your experience at C-Discount? Thank you, Vivek. Hello, I'm Fabian Poletti, CTO of Cdiscount. Uh, Cdiscount is an e-commerce company with uh, the second largest in France, and it's a challenge to try to be the best in a competitive world. Uh, like Ruben said, uh, WebPerf is a journey. Uh, it's impossible to slow down and do an A-B test to evaluate business impact. Uh, you uh, only can go forward and to always move on to a better web perf. And so at the beginning, we ask ourselves, what is the definition of web performance? Is it an electric car using few energy available every time you need it? Or is it a fighter jet that go fast but can be unavailable? And at Cdiscount, we chose the first approach. So we developed a dedicated roadmap based on incremental optimization and monolith spreading action to use less and less compute resources. And we saw uh, a CWV uh, continuous improvements. But it was hard to evaluate the business gain, business gain on a day-to-day -day basis with CoreWay Vital Improved. Um, customer journey is always evolving with uh, fewer prices, uh, new products, uh, new offers. And so your experience changes every day and your customer journey changes every day. So how do you find a, a base to evaluate the impact of web performance? You only can say it's, we are in a good way to achieve a great goal. Business won't allow you to do an A-B test and slow down your site. So we had to find a scale to evaluate uh, all the gain. And we saw during Black Friday that we gained 6% revenue uh, on a day-to-day -day basis comparison year to year, thanks to web performance and core web vitals improvement. It was done uh, and with a, an uptime that was the better we ever had with 100% uptime on this day. And it was possible because all the work we did on uh, Core Web Vitals was a gain on all of the system. We closed bugs, we improved performance, we had less error, we had a, few, uh, a stack trace that was better up to date. And so the gain was a really a game change in our company and our culture. And we know we were in a, in a good way, but it was the proof that web performance is a business game change. And so I would say to finish that NPS is rising thanks to WebPerf. Customers are having a good time on our website. Friends and families also. And so never keep faith in that web performance is a business game changer. Thanks, Fabian. I really like the connection between performance and uptime and NPS there. 
I want to bring in Giuseppe. Uh, GED had a unique approach to starting performance work with a smaller, newer product, and then scaling up what you learned to the main properties. Can you tell us a bit about that experience, Giuseppe? Hi, to all. Yes, I'm Giuseppe Covato, Head of Innovation and New Technologies at JD Digital Tech Department. Uh, JD is a media company, publisher of uh, 15 new sites, several magazines, and web streaming radio stations. Before 2070, we didn't have a strategic path for web performance, and knowledge sharing was really low and inefficient across uh, teams. Then uh, we took the opportunity to develop a new premium content site uh, while experiencing uh, with emerging technologies such as Polymer, AMP first, uh, progressive web apps. Uh, and this served as a playground to upskill uh, the team around uh, performance related objectives. The new site became one of the fastest newspaper sites uh, on the K matrix, uh, such as uh, time to first byte and first content paint, uh, content full paint. Uh, all, all of these uh, have been possible first by applying a critical rendering path optimization, making sure there is no CSS or JS that could potentially slow down our editorial content rendering time. Then we also spend a great time optimizing our site layout stability for example, by reserving space uh, for our images based on their aspect ratio. We used the, what we learned, the scaling this innovation to other main traffic sites, such as La Stampa and La Repubblica, and uh, we were able to measure the benefits. On La Repubblica, for example, in the mobile site, uh, we have measured 77 cumulative layouts shift and 26% almost uh, larger content paint improvements on real traffic. We have been gradually rolling out these changes and uh, this allowed us to measure uh, the benefit on these uh, main sites. Uh, for example, we had the eight percentage of mobile bounce rate improvement. Uh, our next steps are now to improve the cumulative layout shift uh, uh, by minimizing the impact of ads on uh, uh, site layout stability. Thanks, Giuseppe. It reminds me of the old adage that it's often more profitable to keep an existing customer, or in this case, a user, than to go out and find a new one. So I really like your use of bounce rate there, and there's so, those are some impressive numbers. Let's briefly dive into a few areas each of you mentioned. Ruben, I'm curious about the unique position Wix occupies as a platform serving thousands of merchant sites. What are some of the considerations you faced when improving core web vital scores? And how do you think about the opportunities platforms have in supporting their customers here? Mm -hmm. So while I believe users should understand the balance between uh, functionality and design choices they make and that impact on performance, I believe the greater responsibility is on the platform developers such as ourselves we should and we do work very hard to deliver the best possible performance for our users for whatever permutations of design and functionality they choose. And adding Core Web Vitals is a good addition to our tool box for that. From the user's perspective, we'll actually be rolling out the first version of a super cool tool um, shortly to help our users gain insights into the loading time and performance of their site including both field data, which anonymized from user Wix sessions, and lab data from Google PageSpeed Insights. So be sure to check it out. Thanks, Ruben. Fabian, you had a great set of outcomes at C Discount, and much of that came from a long multi-year journey across the organization. Can you talk a bit about how you maintain momentum within the organization, even if daily progress was sometimes challenging to observe? Change of culture and, and faith were, was the essence of, the su of success. Uh, we had to measure everything uh, on a user point of view to avoid to go in wrong direction. We had to share objectives with business owners in order to work as a global team and prioritizing user story easily and commonly. And CEO implication was a great boost in difficult times when we thought we were stuck. Uh, to see business impact on Black Friday was also a key achievement and a booster. Thanks, Fabian. Giuseppe, one challenge that always comes up with publishers 
is how to improve Core Web Vitals scores with display ads, particularly when dynamic ads can cause layout shifts. I'd love to hear how you tackle this at GED. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a, a big challenge because uh, um, ad servers often deliver in multi sides at the format. Uh, and finding the right space to reserve, it's a really a challenge. Uh, we are con currently doing a lot of A-B testing, um, trying to um, find the different solutions or test different solutions. Uh, some of them are working, uh, you know, for our experience. And so the idea is to uh, take them to bigger uh, sites uh, and I think uh, that the solution will come just doing tests uh, and verifying which solution will work best in uh, all the scenarios. Thanks, Giuseppe. And I want to thank all of our partners uh, today, Ruben Sherwin from Wix, Fabian Paletti from C-Discount, and Giuseppe Cavetti from GED. Uh, and thank you for joining us. For more information on Core Web Vitals, visit us online at web.dev vitals and enjoy the rest of web day. Thank you.